Okay, let's see if we can't fix this. Um, first of all, I hate this color. Um, so I'm going to change it. And I put in this hue, saturation, lightness node just to make my life easier. And I want it more green. And it's also, there's too much variation in the color as well. So um, I'll probably make it a little darker as well. So then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to actually come into here. Yeah, well, you know what, since I'm in here, I might as well just do my colors. I'm not, you know, I don't like fooling around in gradient nodes. I just find them kind of cumbersome, but that's just me. Okay. This, I want more turquoise. So I'm just going to go in here and go more towards turquoise. I want everything a little bit darker. And eh, maybe just a smidge because there was too much of a color difference before. You can only just barely see a color difference. You know, it, it, it's it's not spotted water. So now let's just get rid of that. Okay. Um, I think the main, I mean, there's a bunch of different things that are going on here that we need to fix. First of all, I think our opacity is all off. So that's an easy one. Let's just deal with that right now. Um, I want to see more variations. So I'm going to bring this back and get some more darks and lights going. I'm going to overcompensate a little bit because I'm also going to bring down the overall darkness of it because I want it light. I, I want it more transparent. So that should be close to something that we want. Now, the thing that I think we forgot to look at in I mean, we put them in, but we didn't really look at the at the timings because that's really, I think, one of the main problems that I'm having is that things aren't really quite moving around enough. So let's start with this one and see what we put in here. So I'm going to go into, I think I had the Y, Pan Y, so I'm going to click on that. And I currently have it set as time. So let's, we could put in, I'm going to use a multiplication. We could put in a, a variable here. I'm just going to go ahead and put a constant. Um, because I think we have a pretty good, I mean, if I thought I would have to spend a lot of time tweaking this, I would put in a variable, expose it, and then unexpose it when I was done. Um, I don't think that's going to be necessary here. I'm going to uh, right click and set this as, as the output node. Let's set this at, so we're talking now about, what are we talking about? We're talking about the main waves, right? So we don't want those going too fast. So let's set this at two because right now they're hardly moving at all. And let's just see what that looks like before we go any further. Okay, well, I like the color better. And it's looking more wavy. I like that. Okay, so let's uh, move on to these guys up top here, the, the foam. Um, I think this is bigger than the foam I originally had, but um, I think the problem I'm mostly having with it is the fact that it's not moving enough and it's kind of high. I think we might let's take a look at this height um let's try taking it down a notch and just bring it back to what it was originally where only the super high bits are poking up and that might even be too much we might end up getting rid of that i think um I think what's more important is making sure that everything is wiggling around as it should be. 
So we have three things that move. We have we just took care of this bladder node and we have these two that we want to take a look at. Ooh, we don't have this one moving at all. Well that makes a big difference. So let's think about what this um, Gaussian spots one node is going to be doing. It's affecting the warp on the foam. So I actually want that moving pretty fast, I think, because it's going to affect the edges of this thing. So let's set that up. We can make an empty function and then we click on it again to open it up. Uh, we'll add a node variable get float time. Um, add node. We could have just copied the other one too because we're going to be redoing the same thing over and over and over again. And then we're going to get a constant. All right, so we want it moving kind of fast. Let's start with five. And we have one more here. And this is just the actual movement of the things. So probably don't want that one too fast. What do we have it set at now? Let's leave it. Um, Let's publish this out. And yeah, that's better. Things are moving around more. I think I'm going to get rid of that height altogether. I don't like that height. I mean the height on the foam and I think I'm going to increase the height on the waves. So, we're just going to get rid of those two nodes all together and move that there. So we can delete those two. And then this levels affects our height. Let's take a look at that. I don't want too much black black. I think I'm going to even it out some. Uh, how am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? No, I'm going to go the other way. Yeah, I've got that big hole there. I don't like that. I'm going to do this the, another way. I'm going to even it out just to even it out. And then we're going to um, do it this way too. Just take that there. That's a lot more even. Yeah, I was having problems with the fact that there were like areas that were like a lot blacker than you really only want. I mean, it's not supposed to be like deep, deep waves. So let's try that. Yeah, I do want it deeper though. Ah, what did I just do? Yeah, this can, this usually takes a while. I mean, I'm going to spend hours doing this stuff, just tweaking it. Yeah, that's, that's more, more better. Yeah, because I mean, and also remember that, you know, this is probably going to be more 
like this. It's you know it's going to be a smaller tiling when you actually see it. So yeah, it's you know so you you would have you know so what I'm going to do I'm going to use this. I'll, I'd probably you know maybe I want to see more. Um, Let me see here. Uh, the one that actually I want to see more of this. So that's the mask I'm using for that. Oh, the other way. Let's try that. I want because I, I kind of like those fuzzy things. Yeah, that's better. And we'll uh, bring the tiling back down again. Yeah, I think I'm 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 reasonably satisfied with that. Um, maybe bring the opacity down. I don't know. I'm just just a smidge. I I can't help myself. Um, um, that might be cool. is I'm this I'm just making up as I go along. <laughs> I wonder what happens if we do this. I'm taking what I'm using for the color and I'm going to blend it here using a lighten blend. Um it's kind of that's my opacity. Yeah, I'm going blind. So that I'm going to bring this down a little bit more. And hopefully it'll give me like little opaque bits where, where the foam is. Let's see what happens. This is new, unexplored territory. I have I didn't test this out, but it should work. Uh, overdid it a bit. Um, but I'm kind of liking the idea. So what we can do then is because I don't, I'm satisfied. I, I I like the opacity of the water overall right now. Um. But um, I'm not happy with what's going on in the in the foam. So what we can do is by putting I'm going to highlight that by putting another level node in here. It's going to let us deal with that separately, and we're going to use. This should be enough. We I, we probably don't have to make it more of a mask on there. Again, I mean, the, we're we're kind of repeating the same things that we were doing before. Um, you know, just as far as masking things against themselves or versions of themselves. But here, what I can do then is just this might not work at all. We might end up removing it. I just want to tone it down a bit. And if this doesn't look right, then we're going to get rid of it. But again, you know, if you spent some time with this and made some masks and it how does this look? Wait. You know what? I'm gonna leave it here. Um I I think this this has potential. <laughs> As far as uh, messing around with the opacities on top of the um, foam, um, 
I'm not really happy with it. Um, I'm going to pause this video for a bit and see if I can't fool around and get something. I, I don't want to have to make, I don't have to sort of test things on the fly for you guys. Um, but I'm going to sort of spend five minutes and figure, you know what? You can, you can watch them because either I figure it out in five minutes or, um, I don't. And the process actually will give us, hopefully we'll learn some lessons and you can continue this on your own because I don't think it's probably worth pausing. So what is it that I don't like about this? I don't like the fact that, uh, I want to see more white on the foam. So what that means is that I have to change this mask. So instead of using, now, can I reuse this mask? Not really, because that has nothing, that's, that's overkill. So we're going to actually have to get a second, le wow, it's getting really crowded in here. I'm going to pull this stuff up out of here. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to get a second blend node. I mean, a second levels node, which I'm going to hook up here and I'm going to get it to be more contrasting. So I don't, you know, I actually don't want too much here. So I'm going to, like that okay and then we're going to use so we've got this and then we're using this as the mask now what does that give us let's pull this back up because this should now allow us to have more control over what's going on with that foam's opacity. Yeah, this is why it's good to test stuff out before I show people so that I don't have to waste your time with all this stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, well, you know what? Um, I think I am going to leave it here because I think this is on the right track. Uh, it's going to need some work. But I'm pretty confident that with a blur node or two, uh, people can fix this uh, to be how they want it. In fact, let's just put, come on, let's just put, don't be lazy. Oh, God, just put in a blur node. Um, we should probably put one right in here. and bring this all the way down just so it's not quite so sharp. That'll probably be happier. I'm tired and I want my dinner. That's why I'm sort of trying trying to rush this. Ah, uh, there we go. I think that's definitely it. So there you have it. You've got your foamy water. Uh, which can be used for all sorts of things like the bottoms of waterfalls and other sort of water feature type stuff and it's not really going anywhere. Well, you could make it go someplace. I mean you you could always take the whole thing and just pan it. Which again you just take a splatter node and make things go. So I think that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and I'll see you on the next video.